All right, the light's out, so we're down in the basement with the air handling unit running, and we are going to replace the ballast. Uh, I know the ballast is out because the wires were connected to a whole series of lights, and this one was the only one out. So I've disconnected the black wire, which is the hot wire, and the white wire, which is the common. If there's a ground, it'll be like a green wire. It's usually attached to the light fixture, the metal part of the light fixture. And in this case, we don't have one. Now, there's two ways to replace the ballast. One is to uh, just cut the wires and splice it in. Or you can take all these tombstones out. These are called tombstones and just plug the new wire in. Here, let me show you. So you can take all eight tombstones out and just plug it in. See, there's a second wire. You don't have to take it apart, and then you can just cut this, and it's, it's gone. You can do that or just cut this wire and splice, like I said earlier. Now, this is a four-light fixture, so what we have is we have uh, two blue wires on one side and two red wires on the other side. And then we have two yellow wires running to the other end and they just split. One wire goes to one side and one wire goes to the other side. And it's jumpered such that one wire feeds both uh, tombstones. So really it's pretty easy, you just take this one uh, nut out here and it just uh, is held in place on the other side uh, just by a slot. So there's the slot, so I'm going to cut the wires and take the old ballast out. Alright, the nut's off and the old ballast is out. Of course it's a lot easier to get an exact uh, replacement same model number, it doesn't have to be the same manufacturer, um, but that way it'll fit right back up. feed our wires to the appropriate locations. Alright, I flipped it around so that the uh, power wires uh, don't have to stretch to my terminal. I mean, it would have made it, but it's just easier to have a little extra room there. Uh, also, the screw is a carriage screw, which means it's uh, designed to fit in a slot and it won't turn freely. So if it's turning freely, uh, just need to pull down on it so that that notch can engage. Also flipped it around just because you know I just have so much wire, so many, so much length of wire that it doesn't matter for the supply lines. Yellow to yellow. Okay, all done. <laughs> yeah, let me splice them together. All right, the main thing is not to cut yourself short. There's plenty of 
plenty of room under the diffuser. Take up the slack. Plenty of overlap here. Alright, now do the other wires. Alright, well I'm going to have to kill the power before I splice in my electricals here, so let me do that. Okay, so I had a flashlight, it wasn't that dark. And voila, so that was indeed the problem. Good, because I would have hated to have been wrong. So I'll just tuck all those wires away and uh, put the diffuser back on. So there's like a tray that holds all the wires and hides the ballast, so we just put the tray up. Now the uh, tray is designed to uh, let the wires run out the ends, so don't pinch any wires underneath there. Make sure they all run out the ends on both sides. Alright, and then last is the diffuser. pretty easy to put on. 